Oh, it's a bit nippy. <laughs> Hello everyone, hope you're doing well. Hope you're looking forward to Christmas and what have you. Um, basically, yeah, I'm just out for a recce climb. I'm off work this week, uh, Christmas this weekend. And I've not climbed since October, I think it was, end of October, beginning of October, can't remember exactly. Um, yeah, I basically had a, a crash on my mountain bike and um, torn um, a ligament, a uh, tendon, sorry, in my shoulder. So I've literally just got my climbing kit, I'm just having a climb around an local uh, pop. <laughs> and uh, it's probably the the biggest tree that's actually like not got loads of epi on and stuff. So yeah, I'm just having a bit of a climb and seeing how my body holds up. <laughs> so I'm not trying to make it hard for myself, but on the same hand I'm not. You know, I don't want an easy climb, I want to just try and have a fly around and stuff. There's some decent limb walks I reckon I can do here. And, I just SRT up to here, I've got the throw bag here, just to make it be tight. So I'll probably just double roll up here now. And, uh, and yeah, I've got, a, got a, a day just doing whatever I want. <laughs> Having a potter about, a lovely view. It's a bit, uh, a bit nippy, but my hands are getting cowed. But yeah, I'm just going to uh, climb up here and see what crack is. Fingers got up to that top major fort there and just have a play about, see what the view's like as well. I've never seen my village like this before, it's such a clear day. See, I don't know if you can see Rivington over there. I'm, um, those who give them monkeys, I'm originally from Wigan and I live in Chorley, just outside of Wigan, so. Uh, Lancashire, north of England. That's where I do enjoy the tree work. I've been trying this out as well. Sneak peek for you there. That's the um, Hass um, clip and step near sender. So we're trying that out over the next few months. Back again. So hopefully after Christmas. And um, yeah. So like I said, I want to try and, it's a bit slippy but I do want to try and pull weight up where I can really. Just take it easy. So yeah, what happened? <laughs> I was um, I was out with my manager actually, Josh. I was uh, mountain biking in Wales, North Wales. At um, a place called Antistiniog. Probably a favourite place to ride. And also probably where I've had the most injuries. Um, I'm well into a mountain bike and used to do it. Um, I used to compete years ago. And, yeah, really enjoyed it. I still try and keep me uh, it's like this. Try and... Like that. So I yeah, said so I came over a jump. Just doing. It was a bit like today, really, the weather. But it was really windy at the top. Got to like, I think it was in the afternoon. And um, yeah, the weather got really windy. And I thought, you know, I'll just I'll do another one on this black, another run on the black run, and then I'll just chill out on the red. So I thought I'll just do a chill run down the black. And uh, hit one of the tables at the top, just floating over it, nice and chilled out. And the, the wind just caught me, and it just took me by surprise, really. And then I'm just just going. Over the bar, oh, the bike disappeared to the left. I went straight on, kind of um, over the bars, did a full like front flip almost, landed on my back of my shoulder here. Um, I've chucked some pictures on and that. And, you know, I've chucked some pictures on so you can see what happened. But I had a brand new helmet as well, which is which is absolutely wrecked. And, um, which is a bit gutted about and basically torn um, a tendon in me rotator cuff at the back he said it was a he was basically holding on by a thread when I, when I did it from what uh, the MRI said I had a really hard time trying to get, um, get an MRI scan So I couldn't literally for for the first week I couldn't I didn't feel I had no pain I couldn't feel my arm or anything and it was um, 
to do with a, a damaged nerve. I damaged the nerve in the in the crash, like down went down here, and I couldn't feel a few of my fingers. So there was no real pain, really. You know, I thought, oh, we sound <laughs> it's uh, you know just like like a dead heart. Yeah, and that was like three months ago or something. There we go. So I couldn't do anything like that. Like I've just done that. It's still sore, but I've literally just had been doing physio at home on it, and I've, I've been to see a physio. I'm trying to get in to see another one actually this week, which is improving. And the, the doctor just said to me, "Don't do anything silly till Christmas." He told him my job and stuff, and he was literally like. Don't go lifting any heavy logs, don't go climbing any trees. It's like, oh, don't go climbing on. So obviously, do what you think, but he said, you're better just doing nothing. He was basically saying, stay at home, or go and do physio, or go to the gym and that sort of thing, and rehab it. It's weird trying to talk and concentrate. I'm not climbing for something. Just rehab it, so I've, I've, I've been sensible. I think years ago, I would have just like, thought, sod it, and just like, I'm doing this so I can use my other line because I'm rather close on this one a bit. Like that. Still got it. <laughs> That's a good guess, wasn't it? So yeah, so literally it's the first time I've climbed. I thought I'd find a decent tree that I can actually do something on. So I can pull myself up like that, right? Oh, that hurts. back five years or three things like this just i've never not climbed for this long since i started as well which is a bit weird being on the ground so much it's one of the reasons why i've, I've not had as much content and well this is not a bit long since I've got, a, got a little baby on had a baby so i've been super busy can't be there you must be able to see that on camera So tempted as well when uh, when I got here to just, just throw me a pro line straight through the top. I don't know, they'll just go up on the ascender. But I didn't. Not had any locals moider in the eye, which is good. Probably still a bit early for that. Well, I'm not taking any wood out, not knocking any branches off or anything. Just like to do a cut recce climb on it. Ooh. Not climbed up to that for a long time. Would that be recce climb or? Or just like you know, doing changeovers like this. You don't really climb double rope anymore. So you never really, never really bother with it. So like you can normally do a 
running ball line. Now she's got a carabiner and a, a ring. Any carabiner will do really. Over one works best. But before you throw it over, put the ring in like that. I don't know how it'll work this spice, I don't think I've tried it before. So that goes over there like that. Now you put your splice die through there. I mean, if you've not got a splice die, you can just tie a knot, but if you're going to do that, you may just tie a running bowl line. You can see how it's just sticking out there. Put your carabiner through. That'll capture onto there. Like that. And then what you can do is all, you can always put a retrieval line on there. So that's your kind of thing. It's not that and here it comes. So. That's, yeah, that's that. Yeah, it's, that probably just protects it as well. That rubber bit. I hope you can hear me alright anyway. I don't know what the audio is like on this. This is the uh, obviously the zigzag with the chicane. This one's not got a swivel on it, which is just I don't like it at all. I'd much rather have the uh, swivel on it. So there you go, that's pretty much the top of the tree, isn't it really? Might have could up there, but I can't bother. Good. Take a worst way to spend my day. Not that much. How long is this rope? Years up. <laughs> I will note that I am out here on my own. Um, I want to advise it, I've got a phone on me. Not far from home. Um, people know where I am. I'm not doing anything so. Redirect there for no reason, just because go down. No. But FYI, I don't get to use this a lot because when I'm at work, um, it just takes time to set up, and it's just for the amount of footage you're going to get on it, I don't tend to bother. But this is how you can, you know, where I used to film in the tree. So, this is um, a GoPro. Uh, wrist mount and it spins 360 on there and GoPro can sit on that and this is just um, like a um, cargo strap thing there you are you know one of them and then just you can have this as long as you want depending on how big of a limb or a bunch you want to get round so uh, hopefully that captures it if you're going to do anything <coughs> this uh <coughs> if you want to do anything this new year like next year get a camera and start filming yourself like climbing because it'll make you um, see what you're doing make you realize what you're doing wrong and areas to improve and all that and it's just good fun to watch it back anyway <laughs> so yeah get it done
really don't want to fly into the stem with the rope and it can <laughs> Well, I thought he'd gone off. <laughs> well, got there easy enough anyway. I thought they'd, I couldn't see the light on, I thought they'd gone off. Yeah, that tree gone off. Do you want to be cool doing this as a, like a live video? That'd be quite smart. <coughs> Tip with that if you're running the chicane, you get a round file and just whack it in there, it's like a 5.5 or something. You can get um, some of the oval carabiners in, it doesn't go in nicely, but you just have to give it a wiggle and it will go in. Right. Then you don't have to use the, um, the H style ones like that with the uh, that thing on it. Pets all do. Managed though, that's all right. That I can live with that. <sighs> Lovely. Right, we're in the uh, so we're properly in the canopy now. That's got a lot of air on that one there. That one. <laughs> Whereas I'm not going to go up there on my Todd. <laughs> I don't think that's a good idea. That does my head in when that happens. See that's on top now. It bothers me that. Well 
and uh, kind of at the top now. Thanks for uh, coming along for the for the climb. That for review. Hope you can see that. That's mega. So yeah, hopefully we're climbing after Christmas. A bit more actual climbing, doing tree work, and um, I hope you have a great Christmas and a good 2023. See you in the next one. <laughs> Right, so the batch is going, just gonna get down, we'll try and go down there and avoid that half on edge shrub work. Don't flip the ropes long enough. That's how they're going back up a bit. Oh no, I can't tell you why that is off the floor. Is that it? <laughs> back up a lid. <laughs> Try this. <laughs> that was fun. Oh man. No words. <laughs> <laughs>